Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back! Of course I'm back! I'm not going anywhere! Side fan flip beast! <laughs> when you can do tricks. I'm in the carnival now. I'm YouTube famous! It has been one of those days. I'm YouTube famous now! Available in 2020, the album, Dad. Wait for it. AF. I went to a party last Saturday night. I didn't get laid. I got a fight. Uh huh. <laughs> it ain't no big thing. No, this is not a microphone. This is a butt massager. <laughs> And I'm, I reviewed this on my review channel, Peter Review Stuff, which I'm having so much fun over there. Thank you guys for watching. Go check out why I reviewed this today and what I had to say about it. Doesn't it look like a microphone though? Or an ice cream cone? <laughs> anyway, let's get right into this video, shall we? Today, we're going to talk about, I'm so tired of the fakery of the world, okay? Am I the only one that sees things for what they really are? Am I the only one that I know you all do? I know you do, right? But there is just so much crap that is going on on YouTube within the beauty influencer community, and I am so tired of it. I just sit here and I watch this, and I'm like, this is the most foolish crap I have ever seen in my entire life, okay? And you all can hate me. I don't really care. This is just my opinion, okay? I hope you have your opinion. Put it in the comment section below. But I got some things to say. Okay, first of all, we're gonna talk about Manny MUA, Manny Mua. We're gonna talk about Patrick Starr and how they copied Worthy stuff that I talked about yesterday. And I knew when I did that video yesterday, I thought, Peter, you are walking down an alley that you have no clue where you're going, okay? I knew that I shouldn't have made that video yesterday. I got so many messages about that video yesterday, people's opinions. Manny reached out to me. We're gonna talk about what Manny had to say in a second. He was very nice. Manny's always very nice. I've had lots of conversations with Manny and he is always extremely decent, extremely kind, and extremely open to criticism as well as just being like, hey, thanks for saying this, or you opened my mind. And he's, the, Manny is one of the most genuine people for all the shit that he gets. And I'm tired of it, okay? There is so much fakery that goes on out there. And I have to say that my interactions with Manny, and I cannot say this about many of the beauty influencers that I've interacted with, I just can't, okay? I know y'all love some of those people out there, but I'm telling you, they are fake to the core. Absolutely fake users to the core, okay? But Manny is not one of them. I have to tell you, for being accused of being a social climber and being fake and all this kind of stuff, he has always, to me, long before Dramageddon and even after, been an absolute gentleman and has been just, I mean, so nice. And I can only speak of that, right? And I judge people based on how they treat me as a human being. And I can tell you, some of those people out there that you love, no ma'am, okay? Don't put me in a room alone with them because I'd have some things to say, okay? They're just not good people. They just aren't. But they put on this whole perception that they're this great person. So, but anyway. That's maybe later in the video, my, my opinion. Did y'all see my new cup I got from uh, Starbucks in Las Vegas? Don't be jealous. <laughs> you could get one too if you go to Las Vegas. But anyway, I will say this. It was rather bitter because I had 462 points on my Starbucks app and I wanted you to use it for this cup because you know you can use it for purchases. But when I went up there, Ollie... Hey, Ollie, how are you? He remembered my name every single day. He works at the Starbucks at the Cosmopolitan in Las Vegas. I said, now, Ollie, I said, I need to get this cup using my points. And he goes, oh, we can't do that. He got real worried real quick because he's going to tell Peter Mondo. He got real worried and he said, we can't do that because, see, we're part of the Cosmopolitan. We're not really Starbucks. And I go, but it says Starbucks. I'm confused. He goes, well, we can't. I said, that's okay. I can go home and I can get my own cup. By the way, I have a special guest with me today. Come here, buddy. You want to come up here and say hello? He says, well, of course I will. It's Peepy the Flying Chihuahua. How are you doing today, Peeps? Can I have a kiss? This weekend is a peep, we haven't had one in a long time. My husband is going to North Coast Music Festival in Chicago, Illinois, and this weekend is Pee Pee and Peter's Bachelor Weekend. People always say Pee Pee and Peter's Special Weekend, and I don't really care how that sounds. It's Bachelor Weekend. So this weekend we're having a Bachelor Weekend, and we have a very, very special announcement to make this weekend, don't we? He is so excited that he's yawning. Watch, I'll put him down over here and he will go around, and yep, there he is right there. Today, at 4 minutes and 57 seconds, we are going to talk about Laura Lee copying everybody out there. Girl, stop! It's too much! No, I do have some opinions about that. And we're going to talk about Manny MUA and Patrick Starr copying Worthy. 
And then we're gonna talk, I am kind of tan. I didn't even realize it until I got in front of this camera. And then we're gonna talk about uh, my opinions about Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson and the Taco Bell Hotel deal and Ryland and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so here is my unsolicited opinion about all of this, okay? First of all, uh, yesterday I made a video and I talked about how there is this makeup artist and her name is Worthy, okay, Chelsea. And she does what are called tractorials. And I actually went and watched, after I made my video last night, several of them. She is, it's very cool editing. It is really, really cool, okay? Um, so anyway, uh, Patrick Starr came out and he did this just little like Puff the Magic Dragon thing on Instagram or Twitter. I don't know, I saw it. And I thought it was the coolest thing in the whole entire world. And I didn't know he had copied it from her. So apparently he copied this from her and didn't credit her, okay? Well, then Manny, he apparently, <laughs> should I try it today? Oh, I did it, oh my gosh. So anyway, oh hey, hey. <laughs> I have somebody's birthday to shout out. Whose was it? Hold on, let me give me just a second. So then anyway, while I'm looking at my, uh, uh, my screenshots, um, okay, somebody, uh, who was this? She told me about Dunkin' Donuts. Karen, she let me know that Dunkin' Donuts, I screenshot that. Karen, I hope you know that it should make you feel special that I screenshot uh, your thing. Where's my birthday shout out? So I always screenshot and I have them in here. Now I can't find them. Anyway, then me, oh, here's some James Charles things. There's a backpack that I want to get pictures of me up in the airport. Tana Mojo at, uh, at oh, something about Nikki Tutorials, taking down her Pat McGrath. Girl, you are so boring. Who care about you, Nikki Tutorials? Nobody, just a bunch of books I want to read. Anyway, new, uh, okay, okay, where is it at? Uh, here's me and my husband on the plane. Oh, there she is, okay. And uh, somebody tweeted out, oh, so she tweeted out, Chelsea Worthy, damn, this is heartbreaking. I was a Patrick Star stan. This is the ugly industry we are in, though. I have never been welcomed or wanted, and this fully solidifies that. It's never groundbreaking until someone else does it, which is really, really sad. Pictures of my blisters that I was sending my good Judy Tanya. Okay, well, somebody else, uh, somebody said I was real bitter because my social blade's been in the red. Girl, my social blade's been in the red for a month of Sundays. I ain't even worried about it, okay? I just love to make videos, and I feel blessed that I can make videos. So anyway, where is it? There's somebody on here. What did I... Oh, somebody... Uh, Jacqueline Hill was getting, having anxiety and somebody told her she should get coloring books from Walmart. Y'all want to know what I got up in my phone. This is what I got in my phone. Screenshots from my uh, buffet review. Oh, more fakes of the day. John Benedict on Facebook. Anyway, I can't find the birthday shout out. I'll give it to somebody here as soon as I can get it. But let's talk about this for a second. So <laughs> you're like, how do you talk so fast? I don't know. So Chelsea called out Patrick Starr and Manny apparently, but really Patrick Starr, okay, for copying her editorial, her edi editing style, which they did, okay? Well, apparently, now allegedly, I got sent this by one person, so I don't know if it's true. Patrick Starr reached out to Chelsea and said that he had started some agency and he wanted to help her or something. I don't even know if this is real. I don't know if it's not real. I don't know anything about it, okay? But apparently he contacted her before she came out. The other thing that people are saying why they're coming for her is that allegedly Chelsea and Patrick Starr are friends, right? Well, that don't mean that your friend gets to steal your... I, I've had it happen to me, okay? I've had friends of mine completely take my concept and run with it. And I'm like, whatever. Back in the day, my uh, husband and I, we interviewed, because we have a website, we interviewed Kelly Catrone from People's Revolution. She was on the hills and the city and she had her own show called uh, Kel on Earth. But anyway, we asked her, we said, what do you do when somebody steals your ideas and she goes I let them have it I can come up with a hundred more ideas but obviously they can't so I just let them have it and come up with new ideas I just let people have them my, take my ideas I don't care call it your own market it as your own do whatever you need to do but anyway but she got real bitter about it and she said I've had it she started calling it out well she got a lot of crap for it in return okay so now I don't know about Patrick Starr. I don't know about Patty and all that kind of stuff. I don't know, but people are, they're loving on Patrick Starr over there, okay? They're saying it's not his fault and ex making excuses. People always make excuses for the bigger person in this thing. And by bigger, I don't know, I don't mean by who's acting like the bigger person. I mean, who has more popularity? That's the truth, okay? People want to make excuses all the time. I sit here and I can make a video about the like the person that has treated the, everybody like total crap, and people will be like, oh, you don't know. Oh, yes, I do. I have interacted with some of these people, and they're not very nice, okay? I'm just saying. They should be sitting at the mean girls' table because they belong at the mean girls' table. That's just the truth of the nature all day long. So anyway... So nobody, she get losing her support, and then she said she's going to delete a bunch of tweets and all this kind of stuff. Well, Manny reached out to me, and Manny wanted to clarify this. And he said, I really wish you would have reached out to me first, blah, blah, blah. 
Now, I sometimes go and get statements from people, but I don't feel like it's a requirement for my channel if I just wanna give my opinion. And yesterday what I said was I was just giving my opinion on people copying, okay? And what Manny said was that he took the idea from this Robbie somebody. Now, I don't know Robbie. I don't know her. We don't need it to Chinese buffet. I ain't eating nothing no Marshalls with the Robbie. I don't know Robbie, okay? Now, Raw Beauty Christie. Now, I used to like Raw Beauty Christie, okay? But I got a bone to pick with that gal, see? Because she wanted to start with me on Twitter. Now, y'all, listen. I, I try to stay off of getting messy on Twitter and stuff like this. But I've had it with that Christy, okay? Y'all think she's nice. Okay, fine. Y'all think she's humble and humble pie and all this kind of... She's not, okay? She's one of these people I'm talking... You know what she came for me about? That I said that cats were aliens and Raw Beauty Christy... <laughs> I love her so much. She and I got into this joke argument online the other day about cats. Because I don't like cats and she loves cats. And then Laura Lee had to put her two cents in it. Girl, go stay in your cat corner, Laura Lee. So anyway, I love Christy so much. Christy and I got it. She's so funny. I love her. She is so down to earth. She is who you think she is. She totally is. Like, Christy's another person that, like, what you see is what you get. And I just, I love that all day long, you know? So anyway, Manny reached out to me and he said, hey, I didn't know that her, that Chelsea's editorial, 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 <laughs> it's so editorial, Nina Garcia from <laughs> Project Runway, she, he didn't know that Chelsea was doing these editings, okay, but then everybody's saying there's no way because <clears throat> all these big influencers were reaching out, supporting Chelsea and what crap it was. And how is Manny at where he's at in the game of being a makeup artist? Well, listen, people all the time mention YouTubers to me that I have never heard of in a million years, okay? True story. I had no clue who David Dobrik was until Trisha Paytas started dating that Jason Nash. Didn't care, didn't know, didn't know who, maybe made one video sometime along the way, okay? I didn't know Eliza Koshy if she bit me on the ass. I just didn't, didn't care, still don't care, okay? Think her content's boring. Do all day long. I'll say it right here. David Dobrik, don't understand why people think he's funny. I don't think he's funny at all. I sure shit don't think that Jason Nash is funny. Not at all, okay? Didn't he fail right off that last comic standing or something like that? I don't think any of them are funny. I don't get it, okay? Listen, I I'm done, done, done over here being nice to be nice. Y'all are going to get my opinions all day long. That's what I think. I don't get it. I don't know half these people. Okay, people all the time are like, well, do you, I don't know who these people are. People all the time are like, watch this person. I'm like, okay. I go, look, they got 5 million subscribers. I'm like, I've never heard of them. Do y'all know there are review channels out there, true story that you've never heard of in your entire life that have 20 million subscribers, okay? They don't pass James Charles and Jeffree Star by years ago, okay? They post a video of a razor blade or something like that for men to use or women to use on their legs and they get like five million views, okay? People are fighting over here in the beauty community. No, ma'am, uh-uh, I'm so done with all that crap. So anyway, whatever you want. So I don't know who's copying who, but I will tell you this, Laura Lee, she don't run out of ideas, okay? Now, I saw this on the Instagram last night. Laura Lee, she did a video, hold on. Let me pull it up, okay? Now, on the heels of James Charles trying to get that Brad Mondo's uh, attention, okay, and Guy Tang and all this kind of stuff, and I have to tell you what is so funny, okay? <laughs> well, I'm not going to get it. I don't care what I'm saying, okay? D Amy Slate reached out to me about Guy Tang doing, doing a James Charles hair. I was living. I was like, it's like me and Amy Slate and our good genies up in here, okay? Talking about all this kind of stuff. We were just having a chat about all that. So anyway, Laura Lee does this video. I got tired of my hair, so I cut it all off. Not clickbait, okay? Well, this isn't the first time that somebody's done this video. And I have to say, I think Laura Lee's hair looks absolutely adorable. You know, the thing is... I know a lot of you out there don't like Laura Lee, but go back and try to watch some of her videos. She is funny. Okay, I really think this. I know the beauty is what pays for all these people, but Laura Lee is funnier than she knows. You know, and I know some of her jokes in the past were not appropriate, and I ain't making excuses for that. I'm just not, okay? But, like, I feel like she's really tried to stay out of drama in the last year, and she's really tried to show that she really is changing for the positive. You know, a lot of people come out and say, I'm changing for the positive, and a month later, they're back into trouble again. James Charles is a perfect example of that, okay? And we just make excuses and make excuses for people. Laura Lee and Manny really have completely stayed out of any drama in the last year, okay? I mean, if the biggest drama that she's getting into is cutting her own uh, split ends off, okay, hey, girl. <laughs> I give it to you, okay? But you know what? Like, I'm just like, I, so I'm kind of like watching her stuff again, and I'm like, okay, it's not bad. You know what she's supposed to do? Go into a, you know, dark closet and never come out for the rest of her life? I think that she and Manny know. Those people that have left us for good have left us for good, and some people will come back, and some people will enjoy our content again, and she'll forever have fans, you know? It's like, whatever. 
Did y'all see on uh, Jaclyn Hill's Instagram, the Benefit Cosmetics came out with those highlighters that she loves? Those cookie highlighters, and they put Jacqueline's name on it. Oh, that'll be a video coming real soon, okay? So, Benefit Cosmetics supports Jacqueline Hill by putting her name on their cosmetics after those lipsticks, which still ain't got some answers to. Benefit Cosmetics, what are you doing? I am so confused by you supporting all this madness. I was going to make a whole video about that, and quite frankly, I can't be talking about those Harry Fish Sandwich lipsticks no more. I am so tired of it, okay? Unless I have enough to make one video about and with this, I didn't. But go over to Jacqueline Hill's Instagram. She posted it. She got like 5 million highlighters. Now, I went to Benefit Cosmetics to see if you could buy those highlighters. This video is all over the place, and I don't even care. But they're not, they're not up there, okay? So you can't buy them yet, I guess. But I guess apparently they're giving her, her to try out for three to four years like she did the lipsticks. I'm just saying. Anyway, how you, do, how you doing, Jacqueline? Anyway, okay, so... um. No, I, I hope Jacqueline, I went to look at her channel and she still has not posted any videos since she did that uh, cheap drugstore haul or whatever, which right underneath it had a link to her Morphe brushes. <laughs> Girl, come on now. You think people aren't going to call you out for that stuff? Like, I'm ready for Jacqueline Hill to get back to what she was doing before. Doing tutorial of what she was doing five or ten years ago. <laughs> Go back and look and see. I went back and watched some of her very first videos. That's an interesting journey to follow down, okay? So anyway, um... Yeah, but I am ready for Jacqueline Hill to come back and start posting some videos. But So, Laura did this video where she cut all her hair off. It's a cute video, and her hair looks real cute. She did a good job on it, okay? She could maybe, I don't know, start working at the Great Clips or something. I mean, if this gig don't work out for her, she loses all of her subscribers, and she can't make no more money. ding a ling a ling shim a ling ding ding dong ding How's the drama drama phone? This is Peter speaking. Oh, hi, Jane. How are you? Women's League. Now, I think I might be quitting the Women's League, Jane. Uh-huh. I'm going to join the Men's League. <laughs> the Men's League, Jane. Equal opportunity. Uh-huh. Well, they can't say no. They have to let me in. Mm-hmm. What? No, I'm not bringing my tuna tetrazzini tomorrow. I'm thinking about cutting my own hair. Well, Laura Lee did it. I think she's run out of money. Laura Lee, I think she Who? You forgot who she was. Oh, I'm sorry. Jane, but Laura Lee, I think she ran out of money. That's why she's... Oh, I can't talk to you anymore, Jane. Goodbye. So, anyway, she did this video. Get off my hands, you damn drama phone. So, anyway, she did this video. This video is out of control. What time is it? Okay, so she... It's 4.35. <laughs> she did this video where she cut her own hair. It's cute, right? But on the heels of James Charles doing the video where he bleached his own hair, where he copied uh, that Joanne Cedia... Uh, whatever her name is, Brad Mondo and Antonio Garza. Don't think he didn't, okay? Go watch my videos about how he tagged it. He tagged their names in his video. He knew what he was doing, okay? We're going to talk about that in just a second. That she does this hair video. The timing on that is interesting to me. She thinks she's going to start some new trending thing where people cut their own hair. James Charles, please don't cut your own hair, okay? You tried with the blonde. And the blonde looks okay, but please don't try to cut your own hair, okay? So anyway... But she did a real cute job. I think Lauren did a real cute job, but I thought that was funny. I saw that come up, and I was like, oh, girl, you know people are going to call you out for this, don't you, that you're copying them? Come on. So anyway, but anyway. You know, I'll tell you what. You want to see real Laura Lee, go over to her husband, Tyler's channel, and you get to see, like, the real Laura Lee. What is going on with the light over here? Come on, magic. It could be mad. There I am again. But anyway, go watch her husband Tyler's channel. It's, it's adorable. I like watching them together over there. So anyway, a friend of mine recommended that to me, and I started watching it. I kind of like his channel more than hers. I'm sorry, Laura, I do, but be yourself. Laura, be who you are on your husband's channel, on your main channel. It's like I told Manny this today. I gave him some unsolicited advice. I said, listen... And he said, this is who I am. I'm not going to be that bitchy person anymore. That's not who I am. I've changed a lot. And I think he has, you know. But I don't want them to be scared anymore. You know, you get to a point where it's like you get worried about, I can't post anything on YouTube because whatever I post, I'm going to be criticized for. That's crap. Move on. We need to all move on and, you know, whatever. And people that like them, like them. People that don't, don't. But this whole thing about copying people is interesting to me, you know? There's doing it outright, and then there's doing it in a contrived way. And I want to say this. You know, this whole thing with, like, Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson, this friendship, quite frankly, between you and I, 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 I they're okay, both of them. Now, I'm a Shane fan. Y'all know that, okay? Jeffree Star, 
I could take him or leave him. It's just not that big of a deal to me. But I'm kind of real tired of seeing the two of them together. That's just my two cents, okay? I'll probably watch this series and then move on. I don't really, the whole thing of them, their friendship is just not intriguing to me. <laughs> it just isn't, okay? And I'm getting so many comments on my videos that are like, why is it that everything that Jeffrey and Shane says goes? Like, why are they the one? Mm, good question. I'd like to know that. Somebody, somebody else answer that for me. But I'm just kind of like, that whole friendship is like not super intriguing to me. I don't know why. It just, and maybe at first it kind of was, and I didn't really get it. But now I'm just kind of like, mm, okay, the odd couple. But move on. Next. I'm ready for a new friendship. <laughs> I'm ready for some, I mean, that's how YouTube is. You kind of get bored real quick, you know? So... I'm watching this and, you know, Jeffree Star did the Taco Bell Hotel. Well, he tagged Shane and Ryland in it. Well, then Ryland came out and did the Taco Bell Hotel at his own house. Now, I didn't look to see if he tagged Jeffree Star in it, but I have a feeling he may have. Um, but I don't know. Allegedly, I would have to look. So don't put that on him. I'm not going to put that in the world. But Jeffree Star did take tag Shane and Ryland in it. Is it because he knew that Ryland was coming out in the video? They probably talk about everything, you know? It's interesting how one of them will talk about something and then it happens. So they're like so enmeshed right now. And I actually don't know that I think that this isn't really great for their career. I'm just saying, you know, down the road, one, one thing happens with either one of them, it's going to take the other person down. So, um, you know, I think at that point is when you're like so invested in somebody else as a friend that like you kind of see the friendship as, I don't know, like, I don't know, you both have worked very, very hard in your own right, and your own businesses, to have the other one take you down if something would happen, you know? So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. When is this series coming out? 2025? I'm kind of ready for it. And in all honesty, and I'm not saying this, and Shane knows, knows I love him, but, like, by the time that, that series comes out, is anybody else going to be bored of waiting for it? Like, I'm kind of at this point, I'm kind of like, is it coming out? What, what's the deal with it? So it better be groundbreaking, that's all I'm going to say. I mean, I'm excited to see what it's going to say, kind of. I'm kind of losing interest in it at this point, in all honesty. It's like, um, there, it's been hyped up so much at this point. It's like, I mean, it better just be like, and I know what it's going to be. It's going to be some kind of palette. It's going to be talking about the business industry. I have a feeling, you know, there's going to be some of the drama channel stuff in there. I'm sure it's going to probably, people are speculating it's going to reference Dramageddon. We're going to see if it has that in there. But it's like kind of put it out. But at the same time, in referencing those two, the reason why I brought them up was if we see, you know, people tagging each other in their videos or copying other people's stuff, is it any different if it's decided on before we put up our videos? Like if I would say to you, Judy Smith, okay, you're going to make a video, you know, doing the Popeye chicken mukbang, and let's say if I wasn't a vegetarian, and then I said, and you're going to tag it Peter Mon, and then I'm going to do it, and I'm going to tag it Judy Smith, and we both know we're going to put the video up, and it's going to drive traffic to both of our videos, or we do that anyway, knowing what the other person's going to do. Is that any less contrived? Is it any more fair or less fair? I don't know. And then it makes you wonder, like, who's running the show here? You know, who runs the world? <laughs> remember that song back in the day? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I love you and I will see you tomorrow.